super cool. Let me ask you this, Rick. Right, you're you're a, you're a filmmaker yourself. You like to do stuff. You're working on Jackass, doing all this stuff, Big Brother. Is there anything that we're maybe that we're missing, or that you would maybe like to see on the Nine Club Experience? Look at or that. that's a good question. What, what do you what do you what, what are your thoughts on this? You know, we get a lot of people saying you should do this, you guys should do that, you should do that. We we don't listen to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I I think. So, but you're at, uh, for a nine club experience, you're like, what, 129 episodes? Yeah. Yep. Well, spot Around on. that? Yep. Is that on. Well, yep. why would right he come on. out, be 130. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, okay. right. This, 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 that week, yeah, this that next was... week will be 130. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think in time it will take off bigger. I would like to see the numbers get bigger, you know? And I, and I feel like right. it, it baffles me that more people are not tuning in when it hits live. And yeah. I don't know if it's because you, I see that you allow your fans to watch you guys record it live. Is that what you're doing now? So we have our members, channel members. Yeah. We have silver, gold, and platinum. On YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. Correct. The gold and platinum members can watch us film live Sunday nights. So we don't get a lot of those viewers, right? right. We don't get like thousands of people watching us live. It's just a small number, but it's something to for us to give back to the people, you know, uh, who subscribe and, and, and donate to the channel. Is your numbers probably bigger on the audio? Like, so say people can listen to it in their cars or something. I feel like that's easier for podcasts, you know? Right. So that's, that's another aspect of it is you see the numbers on YouTube, but then we do have the podcast numbers as well, you know, so which are pretty good, you know? But I don't know. I It's, it's, a, it's baffling, Rick. I, in YouTube it's a funny place, man. I don't know because cover pages come into titles, come into it, the content, the engagement that you get on it, the likes, the shares, the comments, like everything equals how YouTube is distributing this content. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's something that we could fix with our cover pages, you know, like how do we make those more engaging and, and want maybe people to click on them? Is it the titling? Is it the, con- you know, the content? Like there's so many things that run through our head on a daily basis, you know, of like how, how do we get people oh. clicking and sharing and commenting? Mm-hmm. Is this show geared for children or no? No. Okay. So that's good. That's because I've heard like other, I've watched other stuff on YouTube and they, they'll are automatically say like, Hey, we don't cuss because of the algorithm will suppress us, you know? And, Yep. So maybe that's a problem. We've you know, talked to Chris, we, Chris has brought that to our attention. We've talked about that. For sure. There's You're, a certain and, member of I'm not gonna say any names that likes to cuss every week. <laughs> Justin Eldridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he needs to curb that, you know, and start and, just Rick, this is, listen, I, I'm not trying and we're, we're, you know, listen, (laughs) we're not, these guys love it. Yeah. They love it because we do have these conversations. Right. And and Rick, I love cussing. Right. I think throwing a good, I think throwing a good adjective in there to describe something is good. I think, you know, it can add some humor to the situation. Cussing. It's natural. Adds to it. Right. It adds to conversation. I don't want to tell anybody not to cuss. Right. Because that's not who we are over here. We want everybody to be upset. But like you're saying, like if we can curb that, that may, you know, the YouTube algorithm may just be like, wow, there's. 82 fucks in this episode. <laughs> We're not going to distribute this yeah. to X amount of people because these X amount of people probably don't want cussing. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we we're being controlled somewhat by this algorithm that nobody knows what the algorithm is. You see, it's weird. Yeah. I, I think it's also a numbers game and I, I think this show is still new. And I think in time it'll get it'll grow bigger, you know. And I, I don't think Joe Rogan's podcast was as huge. I, I as it was, was just gonna say that I was just gonna, and I hate using Joe. Joe Rogan's the biggest podcast out, but th- they curse on that. I mean, I was just I don't listen A to lot. Joe Rogan that often, but mm-hmm. when I did listen to just recently, I was like, damn, okay, they yeah, he he says he does what he says, thing. yeah. But it's it's very tasteful, and it's not to right. the point where he's abusing the fucking the fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> Eldridge. Listen, and we it's funny. We've talked about it on the show. Eldridge, he cusses the way that we say like or um. 
He yeah. says shit or fuck. It's like a nervous tick for him almost yeah. in a weird fucking way. Fucking this fucking LaCroix shit. This fucking so, this two like, dudes yeah, yeah, yeah. so fucking <laughs> shit. To, like he's using it to think of what he's going to say. Right. Yes. Where we use it in a way that could like add into a, you know, a funny thing, you know, like God, fucking, you know what I mean? Like right. we emphasize yeah, yeah. Emphasize. That's absolutely it. it's funny when he talks about things that's the funny part he might be talking about something so gent like something nice and he'll throw the this throw shit oh, yeah. or fuck. oh yeah and it's not it's not even like he's meaning to do it yeah it's like yeah. it's like a that's how he talks. he's like he's, he's like my fucking wife man and she's just like <laughs> bro like <laughs> whoa bro like my fucking kid, like, but he's saying it so endear, endearing, you know. It's like you're like, what the dude, chill, bro. But that's the thing is like, Rick, like we don't want to step. I, I want everybody to express themselves freely here, yeah. you know. But at the same time, like, I wonder if stuff like that does hold us back, you know. And not for nothing, Joe Rogan they cuss on their show too, but no, it's not as once much. you have. Those 10 million subscribers. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can do whatever. It doesn't matter. It works for you. Yeah, it works. For sure. You're the most talked about pod. Like, it doesn't. We're still in a position where there's so many people out there never even heard of the nightclub. Yeah. They don't even know what the hell that is. You know? Maybe maybe, maybe you put it, you know, if you, I mean, it's probably really expensive, but put it at Thrasher Magazine. Yeah, I, I don't know if that would do anything, though. You know what I mean? Like, I feel I, like our skate community knows. Like our core community knows, and it's a, it definitely word of mouth, bro. This is like one of those shows. Yeah. If you yeah. if you have if you're a, a, a friend, you have a friend. Like you're gonna tell him, like, you ever watch that fucking show, Nine Club? Like, and yeah. you like uh, collab with another podcast or somehow like to? There's not a lot of other podcasts like the Bunt and like literally. Mm -hmm. That one's awesome, but I don't know any other. There's not a lot of skate podcasts out there, you know? No. We're just trying to do everything that we are, you know, we, we don't know what we're doing, <laughs> essentially. We're, we're just trying to go with it and we're trying to, you know, copy what other, all the other big podcasts do and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know? like. Well, well, listen, when we started Jackass, we didn't know what we were doing either. So right. in the time, it didn't click. And totally. back to... We gotta get this photo shoot going soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I Definitely see that trigger did. fingers ready, bro. Yes. Just do you have any, You don't have batteries in that thing. I'd love to hear the shutter. No, the batteries are okay. dead. Okay. Make sure you don't leave them in there, though. They'll get fucking yeah. Luckily, they'll, they'll leak didn't. out. Okay. That's a Rick yeah. Cossack collab right there. Do some. Let's do some cool shit with Rick, dude. Yeah, dude. Rick. Let's make a boards shirt. Let's do a photo shoot right now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no okay yeah lens caps on lens caps on yeah. no battery no lens, yeah. no lens cap first thing about photography man take the lens cap off sorry guys that shot was kind of dark yeah. no it's uh no i don't know i was just asking you if you had any if you would like to see some different things on the experience or something that you were like oh man it'd be cool if these good dudes did that this or if you just like the show the way i've mentioned and, it before i just wish there's there's times where you can go like full frame with the trick instead of looking no, at a little box tough. you said it, it's like there's restrictions copyright yeah, yeah. But we, even though it's like a few seconds, you know, yeah, it is like we we've gotten pinched for it before. Was, so God, we used to do we used there. to do full screen, and then after a couple episodes, we got pinched a few times, and so we had to take it picture in picture. Damn. So we, we do get a lot of comments on that. Amoeba Records does this really cool thing called uh, "What's in the Bag," and so they have a famous artist come in, they shop in the store, and they pull all the stuff, and they talk about things, you know. And they're cutting to music. How are they getting away with that? Mm. Now, maybe Amoeba, <coughs> excuse me, maybe Amoeba, since they are a music company, has ins and rights to stuff. Man, no way. Uh-uh. No. That's, um, that's so much money. Let me ask you a question. This is really to, like promote their store. That's about it. This is their they're YouTube? They're probably not trying to make money off it. Yeah, but because you're promoting skateboard. Yeah, because sure. like if we if we were playing music on our nine club show, right? Which we totally yeah. could, Rick. It's not really like we can't. We can. We just couldn't monetize that video, right? So but, now the people who were in that song, they're they're monetizing our video. Mm -hmm. They're making money off of us playing their song, which we could only play for maybe even if we played the song for, you know, a minute out of a two hour show, they're monetizing the whole show. But you're like just showing a clip and there's no audio and it's you guys talking over. So it's like, you're, you're essentially the news. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. 
Yeah. As in Maybe to like at the every moment. video, yeah. every video that comes out, we'd have to go to Free Magazine, we'd have to go to Thrasher, we'd have to go to whoever's putting these videos out, Baker, Death Wish, we'd have to go to every company, get their permission to do it. We will upload the video, then on our end, it gets flagged. And then on their end, they have to approve it. Like it's a whole web of like, hey, you guys, hey, free, can you approve the video, man? So we can monetize, we use your clip, like. It's a full-time mm, job for it, somebody. It's a full-time yeah. gig, you know, for you know, get- for for 30 seconds of, of a clip. Well, and maybe gotta- after the uh, 300th episode of this, you know, you'll have a, uh, a staff, you know. And- That's what I say, there, there might be a point where it makes sense, but it might not ever make sense. I mean, I'm glad we're talking about it now because we don't really talk about it. And it's, these are a lot of questions that people ask us on the show. Why? Why don't you go full screen? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? It's like, man, we, we, we'd love to do so many things, but it's just not possible. Mm-hmm. It's just not, you know. I think you guys are doing a great job for what you have Thank right you, now. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. You know, it's fun. The set looks awesome. You can't tell it's Roger's house. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I mean, we it's are, like, we really are like it looks legit. Room. It really we is. Appreciate legit. That. We appreciate that. It's, um... It's a labor of love, Rick. And we loved having people like you on the show. Yeah, we could wrap dude. out and talk and just hang out. So OG, I got a OG industry heads, man. Yeah. OG industry heads. So am I coming in after Tony Hawk? Yeah. How yes, do you sir. Feel, yeah. How do you feel about that? No. This is, <laughs> here's, this is another thing, Rick. Okay. Now, this is a YouTube algorithm. Okay. Yeah. We have a big episode. Say Tony Hawk drives in 100,000 views or whatever he gets, right? I don't know what Tony Hawk's getting, you know? But if he's getting more views than anybody else, now the algorithm is going to be like, oh, people are watching this channel. We need to put this next video in front of more people. Sprinkle some more. So now you're getting Tony Hawk's sloppy seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Trickle down. Wow. (laughs) No, but you know what I mean? That that's just how the YouTube algorithm works, right? If you keep having like, you know, 10,000 view episodes, like YouTube's going to be like, okay, people are interested in this, but not as, not as much, not as much as we we would think. So we're not going to put it in front of a lot of people. Right. But you get a good episode like Tony Hawk. Now YouTube's like, oh, we're going to put more of this, these guys' content in front of people. I I think what also might help, and I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but maybe, you know, throughout the show be like hey you guys just want a reminder to please hit the like button it helps get the word out more that that people want you know it's just like yeah we we try i i try to throw that in there sometimes you do i do do it in a very nonchalant way if you want me and jaron to do it we'll step right in yeah i mean i don't i don't have any cues to do it but (laughs) if we need to do it to ease, give me a little tap. Little give tap, me a tap yeah. Give me a little tap. Like, subscribe. <laughs> hey, guys, if you're right there, give us a like. You know what I mean? Maybe it's like you guys don't have to say it. Maybe just like a little lower thirds comes up. There you Please go. Please hit the like button. You know? There you go. Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my left. on your left. Hey, yeah, hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. I mean, the subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. Yeah. All right. I, I looked at your subscriptions. It looks like it's definitely you know increasing a lot. So which is good, you know. And hey, listen for a, for a skateboarding podcast that just has a bunch of skaters sitting around talking. I think we're doing a phenomenal job, you know. And that's just not me patting myself under Roger on the back, but um, mm, and everybody yeah. involved. Mm-hmm. But I think for skateboarding, like it's it's damn good, you know. Hell yeah. Like there's some videos awesome. out there that come out, Rick, that don't even get t- ten thousand, fifteen thousand views mm-hmm. that people work Months a year on. on. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, that's not fair. You know what'll help his views if you put like Jackass Four Secrets Revealed. Right oh, trust cover? me, we're gonna do no, that for the, the highlights. The <laughs> caption, <laughs> sick ass caption. Well, yeah, yeah, but we that. tr- that's the tr- that's the stuff too. We try to do with the highlights is we try to, but we're not clickbaiting, obviously. But we try to, you know, no, it lives up to it. It lives up to yeah, it, yeah, for sure. right, dude? When we uh, Stevo's highlights this went off, holy balls that was nuts you just, but it's but, you, but, but you get a dude like that on where you're like yeah. wait a minute you, you title the video like steve-o got paid how much to take fda non-approved drugs yeah, <laughs> like yeah. in a, in a, it's gonna go in a survey it's like gonna go. it's gonna go yeah yeah i don't know rick it's i, I just thought i'd ask you because you're a viewer you're a fan you know you're no. a, a contributor to the show yeah i was man. just wondering if you had any ideas or or maybe uh, i just think it's a, i think it's just a 
the numbers game. We just got to keep yeah. pushing forward and that's it. You know, and it'll click. And at the craft services table, it'd be nice if you did hit up Johnny Knoxville to throw out a tweet about us. Yeah. Something like that. Hey, Knox, you know, what's up? <laughs> and, and Steve-O, yeah. And Steve-O yeah. and Wee Man and Pontius, Pontius. All, the, all the homies. And but we'll... I think as when the movie comes out eventually, this will okay. kind of get in the whole oh. slew of things. You know, probably more people will pick up on it. And there you go. And if you could, if you give us a shout out in the movie, that would be great, dude. <laughs> even a lower, even a lower third, yeah, yeah, even yeah, a lower like, third. Lower third. Yeah, yeah. Just, it could be, a, it could be a rocket coming out of Steve O's ass. Like, watch the Nine Club. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I'm thinking so Jackass. He's thinking. We, he's thinking that along we those can get lines. us some T-shirts, some you know, but they're probably blurred yeah. out or something. I don't you know. Can we have shirts to all the crew members? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, know, you know, we can get him some shirts. I think some of the guys I bet Steve would wear one. I love Steve O, bro. Yeah. He's a he's a great dude. The he's last, killing it with his podcast too. He's the last guest we had in here. 